Hey guys, what's going on? It's me again, and I'm sorry if you see the same background. I still have yet to find a different background for this, so I'm still working on it, so just work with me here. But I do have another product review, and again, I have to be quiet because my brother is in the other room. Yes, I know. But I have another product review, and it's going to be on Shea Moisture this time. It's this stuff here. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Body Wash with um, oats, aloe, and vitamin E. I ended up picking this up a long time ago. It was from Target. I believe it's available for like $8.99 or $9.99 plus tax. You can probably get it less if there is a bit of a sale going on at Target for probably $7.99. I'm not entirely sure. But it's either $8.99 or $9.99, and I will put the price in the description, so be on the lookout for that. But either way, I picked this up from, yeah, Target. I ended up picking this up from Target a long time ago because my skin, there was something about a previous body wash I was using or a previous soap that I was using that there was something in it that my skin did not like and it would break out in these little bitty red bumps mostly all over my legs because my legs as dry as they are they're also sensitive so if my legs do not like a certain product they're the very first to break out so I had to stop using that body wash for a while now just to see if things would change I started using an oat, oatmeal milk and honey soap it only relieve the problem temporarily but the bumps came right back so i ended up going to the target store and i found this body wash because i ended up reading reviews on it about how good it was i mean all over the board there were nothing but positive reviews about this body wash so i said what the heck i'll pick it up well i can safely say that i absolutely love this body wash I love it. It's about right up there with the raw shea butter body wash um, that I end up reviewing. If you missed that review, the link is in the description for that too. I'll put that there. But I absolutely love this body wash. For starters, if you use a shower poof like I do, which unfortunately I do, did not take with me, great. But if you use a shower poof like I do or some sort of wash rag, you only need like a little bit of this stuff. Maybe like a, maybe two dime sized amounts, amounts or one quarter sized amount is enough to create a lot of lather with it. Do with it too, okay? Even though it's a black color, even though it's sort of a brownish black color as you can probably see, it won't really stain your entire tub a black color color I believe that the soap version of this body wash here will stain your tub a lot more than this body wash but you really don't need a lot to lather up with it and that's a bonus for me since I have a habit of being a bit heavy-handed with certain products here so I tend to add a little too much with this this is telling me to just just lay off a bit and you'll still get clean it cleans very well, it does not strip my skin, and on top of that, it makes the little bumps on my legs disappear to where they're nice and smooth and even, and, and there's no bumps. My skin is just left clean and smooth, and it's not stripped of any moisture, as long as you bathe in warm water, which is what I'm doing. But, what I really, really like about this stuff, oh, and before I get to that, these little bees that you see in here, I don't consider these a problem. These are the jojoba bees. I did read in a few reviews that people were having a bit of problems with the jojoba bees. The little bitty black bees that you might see. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera. But people were complaining that they had a bit of a problem with those. I frankly do not have a problem with them. It's all, again, just like I said in the previous review, which was the Garnier Fruit Teas, usually if there are beads inside of a certain product that I'm using, I don't have much of a problem with them unless they're really that gritty. If there's a lot of them and they don't dissolve instantly, then that becomes a bit of a problem. These little jojoba beads in the body wash are very tiny, so it's almost like I don't even notice them or they just dissolve on contact. Just like that wonderful <sighs> all right guys hold on okay guys I'm sorry about that my dogs were barking because my package came in today it's this stuff um 
I don't quite remember what exactly is in this, but my package came today and I'm happy about that. But anyway, getting back to the review, um, I already mentioned that the beads weren't much of a problem. Now, I did read on this label that it is a multi-purpose, an all-purpose body wash. So, I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could use this on your face and on your hair. I have yet to actually use this on my hair, but I have used it on my face and it lathers very, very well and it gets it nice and clean without stripping it. I had to use this a few times on my face before I could get my hands on the, let me see, gosh darn it, what was it? Oh, the African black soap, that's what it was called. Uh, I'm sorry, my, my memory just kind of went dead for a minute there because I, because I got my package today. but. Before I even got my hands on another bar of the African Black Soap, I ended up using this as a face wash and it did really, really, really well. It didn't strip my face, didn't leave none of that gritty feeling, and like I said, I didn't even feel the beads in this. It just got it really, really nice and clean. So if you want to, you can actually use this for your face and for your hair. I haven't tried it on my hair so I can't speak for that alone, but it's totally up to you. Either way to keep this really short oh and another thing i used it for a bath you can also use it to create bubbles in a bath i did use this for a bath and it was okay the bubbles didn't really last long i didn't expect them to but the it was all right it did really good foaming up you know up in the first few minutes i would say maybe 10 to 15 minutes and then the bubbles just started to disappear so if there was one thing I could complain about this stuff is that the bubbles if you use this for a for bath water if you just want to soak in a bath I wouldn't really recommend this you could still use it but beware the bubbles really do not last long that's my only complaint about it otherwise this body wash is awesome and I'd be more than happy to buy another bottle of this again Again. and I also figured out just remember during the time that I went to go get my package that it was also available at GNC stores so if you can't find it at Target Target or any other store head over to GNC General Nutrition Center they are now selling Shea Moisture products there and I just figured this out a long time ago a long time ago when I went to go pick up another product but I will gladly purchase this stuff again and I might be sticking with this body wash for a while if possible, I might be um, switching between this body wash with the raw shea butter body wash because I think like I said in the last review, in a review about that product a long time ago, I use that body wash strictly for winter care. So, sorry about that, I just heard my dog outside. but. I really really like this body wash and I really think you should give it a shot especially if you got body acne or if you suffer suffer from blemishes or even if your skin is very sensitive give this body wash a shot so that's pretty much my review on that if you've tried it before I'm pretty sure some of you have if you tried it before if your friend has tried it before leave your story in the comments below I'll be more than happy to read them if you need advice from me on whether this body wash would be a good match for you, leave your questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. If you like my review, feel free to leave a like, leave a thumbs up, feel free to share the video if you absolutely love my reviews. And if you want more from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button. More will be coming soon. Now, with that being said, please excuse me as I go open this little bitty package here and determine what I just ordered because I seriously do not remember. But I will see you in the next video, all right?